Okay, good morning everyone and uh, welcome to Johannesburg, the third Johannesburg summit. And I'm happy to see uh, this very distinguished crowd, uh, some new faces, uh, some uh, uh, returning uh, uh, participants. I'm happy to see that you, you enjoyed the previous uh, um, summits. This summit is about the uh, future of uh, wireless communication, of mobile communication or an ICT in, in general. And as you know, th those of you who've been here before, the uh, success of this event is really dependent on you, on your participation. And uh, we, in, in the invitation process, uh, we always think of uh, what, what can uh, these participants uh, bring and, and uh, add to the, the discussion. And uh, I hope that uh, this year, uh, this distinguished crowd will give, us, give me a lot of answers on, on some really burning questions that we have. Um, you know, um, one can wonder, is wireless communication a mature technology? Uh, ten years ago, I talked about um, wireless being be eventually become a vanishing technology, and, uh, and so it, it's something that you take for granted, but you, you don't really um, uh, look at the technology as specific, and everybody just thinks it should work. And it's the only, the only time when you um, recognize wireless technology when it doesn't work, so that's the very ungrateful situation the engineer becomes into. And you wonder, are we there right now? You wonder it sometimes, because nowadays there's less and less emphasis in research programs and in, in development on wireless technologies, more and more verticals, more applications, and we just think this, this wireless connectivity, that, that simply works. Um, so I, that's an answer I'd like to get. Uh, we also... Um, um, have been talking about 5G so uh, quite a lot. Uh, the first uh, summit, uh, nobody really knew what 5G was. Uh, in the next summit, uh, at least we discussed what 5G should do, and there were long, long wish lists. So this, at this conference, I hope really that we get some answers on what 5G actually can do and what 5G should do. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, this conference is uh, co-organized by uh, uh, Ericsson, by KTH, and by EIT IC Lab, and I'd like to invite my uh, co-chair, uh, Magnus Frudi, to say a few words on behalf of Ericsson. Yeah, thank you, Jens, and uh, a very warm welcome, old and new friends here at Johannesberg, and also a special welcome to all the, the viewers and participants over the webcast, very welcome as well. I think we uh, we are of course uh, we are in the middle of industry with mobile broadband and the growth of mobile broadband and, and we see that year by year and and that's sort of the driving force of course behind a lot of the investments in the infrastructure. At the same time now I think we during the last couple of years we have really seen how the machine type communication parts is is getting much more on the agenda and being a little bit more mature and we see the first sort of systems being deployed and we see a huge sort of shift or, or a trend in, in, in the LTE evolution addressing the machine type communication requirements as well. And then on top of that we see this transformation of the different industries. There is a huge number of sort of contacts that we have from Ericsson Research to different other industries and their research departments discussing on how these different ind industries can transform. And then it's both massive machine, but it's also more and more critical machine type communications that is being discussed. So we really see from a need perspective, we see the mobile broadband, we see the massive machine and we see the critical machine types as, as interesting major uh, groups of use cases for these future future networks. And looking at the, the, the solutions to these requirements, and, and of course this, this is a, a challenge that we have in front of us and that we will discuss here these two days and, and in, in, in coming years, how we will construct and build these systems, of course, that could meet all of these requirements. And here I think also we will see a shift a little bit, as Jens was saying, that we do have more and more views on how we should build these systems. So we are getting sketches on how the LTE evolution will be. We are looking at how that could be complemented with, with some radio access on high frequencies and so on. So the picture of this 5G 
system is getting not clear, but it's moving forward, and, and that's exactly what we should uh, discuss these days, I think. Uh, so by that, I would like to uh, hand over to Jens again, and from my side, uh, very welcome to these two days. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, to give you some practical information and ground rules before we kick off the, uh, the first session, um, as in previous years, um, all the um, uh, invited presentations are going to be webcast, so live, so people outside this room can, um, can watch them. Uh, we will have some panel discussions. The panel discussions are not televised or webcast. Uh, they are closed in the, for this room. And, uh, but we uh, uh, like to apply Chatham House rules, so that, um, meaning that any information that, uh, that can be um, uh, divulged here is open for anyone to use, but you shouldn't uh, uh, refer to the person who said it. So the, uh, the origin of, of the, the information should not, should not be revealed. Uh, so I hope this, this gives us an opportunity to discuss freely and, and uh, discuss also provocative uh, thoughts uh, sort of be beyond the, the um, uh, usual company statements that, uh, that you make. Um, some other practical information, we, uh, the keynote speakers and the uh, panelists and maybe some, some, else, some other uh, uh, in, in the audience uh, uh, we'd like to make a few um, interviews with you, or uh, one interview, a uh, short one. And uh, uh, Andres and Chichek, please rise, stand up. And uh, these are the guys that's going to be looking for you in, in the uh, in the coffee breaks and uh, to prepare a short interview. This this year, we will have a uh, with either Chichek or or Andres. You will have a short chat to uh, discuss some of the questions that you're going to address. And um, please feel free to have your own opinion on what you would like to say. And um, then there will be a short uh, video uh, interview with you, you made. And uh, basically, we, we don't cut the interview. It's simply the, uh, we, we shoot it straight off so that you, you know what, roughly what the, what, the, um, what the rules for that are. Please feel free to use social media. Uh, if you haven't... Um, Gotten on the uh, on the Wi-Fi, uh, the I, uh, SSID is uh, JBS and it's an open network, so um, uh, feel free to use that. And um, if you'd like to uh, use Twitter or any other social media, the hashtag is uh, you can see over there. So please, please free to communicate ideas even outside the outside this room. Okay, so um, uh, having said that, uh, uh, coffee breaks will be outside here. Lunch will be in, in the main building. Lunch and dinner will be in the in the main building where some of you had breakfast already this morning. Okay, I think that uh, does it for the um, uh, technical uh, or the the practical part of the conference. So now we step right into the. Um, uh, into the program. 